It's time for the November giveaway at McGolf. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop, and this is November's Golf Pride giveaway. Now we've given away a CP2 set and we've given away a 2G set, and this time we are up in our game. So last time we talked about maintenance of the grip and we also talked about sizing the grip, at least the right size, right? Now how do we get that size? Well, a couple of things. Number one, they have go no go grip gauges. And what you do is, from the very shoulder of a grip, you measure down about two inches with this guy, put your thumb there, and then what you do is you get it to fit in there. I actually turn around like this. So you see how it moves up and down? We don't like that. Don't like that. And there you go. And so that you know what, and then it tells you what the sizes are on there. So that gives you the standard weight. Now how do you know if you're going to be close? Well, on the inside of here, you'll see a code like a 0 .60, a 0 .58, a 0 .56. And depending on the model of that grip, whether it be standard or midsize or ladies or whatever, when it's matched to the butt diameter of the same number that was on the inside, so a 0.600 butt to a 0 .60 uh, grip gives you whatever that grip would be, whether it be the midsize or the standard or whatever. Same thing for the 5 so if you or a 5.8. So if you had a 0.58 inside here, and then you had a 0.580 butt on a shaft, it would be standard. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, a lot of the lightweight shafts nowadays are becoming a point or a 0 0.610, a 0 0.620, and so you just add that uh, little bit of a decimal to the size of the grip. It's going to make it slightly larger. Now how much is that? Well, here comes the second part. Now, we talked about measuring down here, right? And this is where we want, this is where it tells us the size of that grip. Now, a standard grip would be like a .900. If you look right there, I'm not making this stuff up, .900. Can't make it any more difficult. The next size up would add on a .150. So you're going to be uh, a 10.5, right? So how do you get there? Well, typically a, a roll of tape that they put around only adds a .070. So what you want is two rolls of tape to get to the next size up. So what does that mean when we go back to the adding of the .10? Really in size? Not a lot. All right, now you go, well, Jim, you know, you just said for the next size it's .150, and 35 and 35 is 7. When you go to measure here, and you put right there, and that's 900. Now, to get the next size up, it needs to go .15, right? So when you do, when you do tape, is typically a .035. But when you wrap it around the shaft, you add it. So it's actually a .070, okay? So two rolls of tape would get you the 140. Close enough. That's what they mean by that. And so that gets you up to your next size. So what does that .0 or that .01 mean when you go to the larger shaft? Virtually nothing. Okay. So there are some guys that just need one roll of tape. There are some people that need two, some people that need four, or going up to the next size. So that's the importance and that's how you get a better guess, all right, and so that it fits better. And that's the sizing, and that's how you would get to sizing it. So you really need to know the width of your tape, okay? It sounds kind of odd, but when you're doing it like I do, you got to know that stuff. And I have a particular brown tape that is a little thicker, so I get closer to that .15 as opposed to just hanging around the 1.4. So a little more true to size. So now let's get on to the giveaway. So we talked about sizing. Now let's talk about feedback. All right, feedback is basically the vibration that you get after you've already hit the shot. Okay, so people go, man, I really like the feedback that it gives. Okay, so what does feedback do for you? 
virtually it tells you what you hit not how and how you hit it but not how you're hitting it does that make sense all right so the uh, it's it's already it's telling you something that you've already done so it's not like you can overcorrect. it just gives you more feedback and what is that feedback well it's the vibration that transmits up the shaft into your hands and then it tells you hey was that a good hit or was it not uh, some people like that some people don't particularly guys with arthritis probably don't like that so much uh, guys that are are smooth swingers probably not so much guys that are active probably do okay uh, so that's feedback so this time around we are giving away and we got to thank golf pride for this we are giving away z grips z grips all right z grips it is a corded grip so what's a cord well it's basically a cotton twill that's put in lines in here so what do you get for the z all right so let's get a little closer all right you see those little they look like little tongs sticking out that's your z pattern where the one that's rolling like this all right that's your z pattern then you see the little white spots that are in there and they virtually go up and down right that's the cord that's what makes this thing firm that's what makes this thing good in the wet that's what makes this thing good if you have sweaty hands so if you're in an area you got sweaty hands you want a firmer feel boom right here this is the this is the style for you all right if you're a guy that does not like vibration uh definitely not all right so typically what you'll find is this is for the better player not necessarily every player but for the better players is typically the ones who like the cord uh, because of that feedback now does that mean if you're just getting started and you're a guy that's fairly aggressive in a swing or just getting started might want to know what you're doing is this a bad grip absolutely not you know you can always try that out okay so that's the that's the feedback and this is the cord all right so I have 13 of these guys not 12 like I said last time and I really had 13 I got 13 so 13 standard 60 R's meaning round all right so what you got to do well you got to be subscribed and you've got to like the video like the video the numbers are starting to jump okay the first one we had a handful last time we had about 50 I suspect that we'll probably have a few more so uh when are we gonna draw this i'm thinking i'm gonna do this on thanksgiving okay i'm gonna draw this out on thanksgiving so you got from now until thanksgiving to subscribe and like the video and i will send you a set so we had one set go to england and we've had one set go to kansas so who's going to win this one so subscribe and like uh and if you like everything you had well like it anyway and then you know you get lucky and let's see your scores go low. put uh, you suppose I'd have this if I was doing this video so here's what we're gonna do